Hello, my name is Black Cob Kane. This is my second uh, rant video. And this video, it's about being poor and why Wyndham House or any other organization that allows kids to live in a shelter, why they should pay you. They don't need to pay you a lot. I'm thinking like each Friday you get paid 10 to $30 based on how good you are throughout the whole week because like a shelter is about providing the person with a home so they can live in and then they can walk freely wherever the hell they want afterwards but then at the same time like for example I'm I'm poor and I use OW which is Ontario Works I'm I'm a Canadian and I have to be I have to use OW because I have no job, I am trying to get a job, I currently am not going to school because I'm trying to find a job, On besides right now because I'm making a rant video, and I'm also uh, make, like, trying to make YouTube videos which will allow me to get money after I get at least 5 videos up to 1000 uh, views each and having about 100 subscribers. So far, I think I have either 17 or 19 subscribers in total. Either way, I think when you're in a shelter, you should get at least 10 to $30 each Friday if you're there the whole entire week. If you're not there the whole entire week, like if you skip two days or you're not there for two days, you get at least ten dollars but either way if you're there for the whole entire time and you're good and shit you should at least get thirty dollars and like honestly that would be that would be one of the best things that could ever happen in a shelter for youth i'm 20 years old um by the time i turn 21 or no the max to be in a youth shelter is 24 on, in Ontario, I think, and in Guelph it is at least. I live in Guelph, Guelph, Ontario. Come find me and be and be like, yo, Black Cobra King, can I have a picture of you? And I'd be like, who the fuck are you? And the person's like, never mind, I'm a fan of yours. Just let's take a picture. Okie dokie. And then we take a picture, and then I get like absolutely nothing out of it except them creeping the fuck out of me. Either way. My goal is to like I I'm not I'm not gonna be in a shelter for a while, but I'm supporting others who are in the shelter because because there's so many kids out there in this in this world who are just trying to find shelter to live. But what if you gave them money, like thirty dollars each week if they're good, and ten dollars if they're just there. That's unless they do like some bad consequence and then you just don't give them anything. You just give them a consequence like don't be in the shelter for the rest of the week or the rest of the day or night or whatever. Just, just think of something. But if you're if there's like good kids out there who are being tormented by their parents so they force themselves to move out and then they're like, oh, what am I going to do with money? I'm too, I'm too young to work in a bar or something, I'm too, I can't do factory work, and I don't have any job experience or anything, and I'm trying to apply to jobs, but they want you to have experience. What can I do? Go to a shelter, and, like, that's all you can do. You can only live in a fucking shelter. You don't, you have no money, you have nothing, but, like, if the, if the $30 thing actually existed for each shelter in the world... That could help kids survive a little more. I know uh, the I know the like, the reason why is because of drug and alcohol uh, privilege, like abuse and maybe weapon abuse and shit. But that doesn't make that doesn't mean like all kids are like that. It's just uh, it's, there's no point. Like oh, we don't want we don't want kids to do anything trouble. Adults do more shit. There's pe there's prisoners who get paid for fuck's sakes. There and like I don't know. So I think the this rant video is nearly done. 
but you get the gist. Shelter kids should get paid from $10 to $30 a week when they're in a shelter. If they're good, if they haven't done anything, and in my in my thing, if they don't even get a warning, you're like, if you do something bad, or something consequentially bad, if that's even a freaking word, I'm just being smart, you get like a warning. If there's a certain amount of warnings until you get kicked out. I think the tens maximum, and then you get kicked out of the shelter uh, for the week. Either way, um, I think I think the shelters around the whole entire, all of North America and other places where the shelters and shit, they should at least give $30 for each kid if they're good and shit. Just to help them survive. Just to help them, un like, survive. That's basically what money allows you to do. Money is made for one reason, survival. If you don't, well, actually, it's also, there's a bunch you can do with money, but the main reason money was, is existing is so you can survive the world. Because there has to be a way to uh, like negotiate with people and trade and shit. Like a long time ago, you can just trade with whoever you want with anything. Oh, I'll trade you a donkey for butter. Deal! But nowadays, it's just like, oh, you need money. So this is the end of my rant video. I'm done. Shelter kids should get money. And they should be able to get the money by living in a shelter, depending on how long they're there and how good they are, and etc, etc, etc. Thank you for watching my rant video. I hope you all subscribe, like, and comment my videos.